Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a Truder. Welcome back to Subnautica for the grand finale because the game has told me, you know what, I'm being rescued. The Sunbeam is going to arrive a kilometre over there. As soon as that timer hits zero, we are out of here. Much shorter game than I was expecting, but uh, okay. Apparently, it's time for me to go. New series starting next Friday. Haven't decided what that's going to be yet, so okay. I guess it's time for our victory lap, unless, of course, you know... Something were to go wrong with the rescue. But that won't happen. Nothing's going to go wrong with the rescue. Nothing whatsoever. Let's... Okay, something's going to go wrong with the rescue, isn't it? Okay, before we set off, let's just make sure I've got plenty of food for the journey. Excuse me. Excuse... Excuse me. You're not going anywhere, matey. Because I've got a... Okay, unless you change direction, then you might. Okay, food and water is looking good. Let's go in this direction. I can't but notice. Yeah. Okay, in terms of my understanding of navigation so far, there are maybe some concerns about where they're landing, which is uh, that way, front ways, uh, that's where the aurora is. Uh, behind me, there's the chasm. Island is uh, way over there. Haven't really been in this direction so far, and it's about to be dark, so... Okay, this is fine. Okay, we're going to take our time. We got this thing. Plenty of energy in this, right? Oh, yeah, loads of energy. We're fine. Just take it nice and slow. All right, because we don't know what we're going into. It. Oh, maybe that's why I've got half an hour. Oh, dear. Is there maybe going to be something big and scary in the way between me and uh, this location? Like, deep water with one of their murder snakes in it. Because I'm beginning to worry that might be the case. Yes. I mean, for the time being, nothing but shallows. This is all, uh, I mean, I'm not sure whether I've been here before, but it looks fine so far. I'm already, uh, yeah, less than a kilometre out. Kelp forest. I think I might have come this way for one pot. Possibly the first pot I found was uh, in one of these forests. I could check, but no need right now. All right, eyes open. I see a couple of stalkers, more kelp, but honestly, uh, yeah, I'm not sure they can keep up with me in this thing anyway. They don't seem too fussed by me. Just, you know... Uh, Watch out for trouble. That is deep, but not too deep. No need to worry about that. So far, this has all been suspiciously easy, actually. In fact, we're coming up on 400-odd meters up from the landing site. By now, the island might well be in view. Yep, yeah, there it is. Wow, okay. Well, now I'm doubly suspicious. Okay, what's... What's going on here? This was all... This was all very easy. Too easy. There's a twist. There's gotta be. Well, on the way. There's definitely a little box dotted around over here. That's mobile. No, I've already got that. Oh, but here we go. Here we flipping go. Oh, the radio's in touch. Okay, well... I can't actually... Oh, dear. They might be about to be, you know, trying to contact me saying, Hey, by the way, not that island, a different one. But if so, uh, bad news about that. I don't have a radio in this thing, so I don't think I do. Okay, well, we're definitely getting Check into... Massive oh. energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Okay. It's Snakey McGee, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so Sunbeam... Ow! Okay, it wasn't the snake. That was just me ramming my own thing. There's an island over here. Stay close to the shore. Stay in the shallows. Hooray for me. Just skimming over the sands. Alright, well, I've made it. It's right there. I've got... Oh. There's something here. That's... That's got lights on. That's... That's probably not a good sign, actually. Okay, well, the game's clearly given me enough time, and yes, this is good. Okay, it's almost light. As soon as we've actually got light, I'll be going back down underwater, because, uh, one, it's those bloody crabs. Uh, there's something here, and I... Oh. Unless she was talking about this. She said massive energy reading. That would be, well, a powered thing, not... Not a... Uh-oh. Massive energy reading. Ship coming right there. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about all of this. Also, I didn't bother bringing a bloody beacon with me. I should have beaconed up this island. That would have been useful. 
Still, I do know where it is. It's like, um, yeah, due north of my pod. So if I just go north from my pod, it's going to be pretty obvious because it is tall. And though it kind of fades in out of existence. Okay. Turn her around. And let's just make sure we know. Uh-oh. Um. Okay. How do we... How do we push the pod? Oh, hang on. I know how we push the pod. Okay. So activate repulsion... I hear you over there. You do not want to mess with me. I've got a repulsion cannon. That didn't do anything. Um. Okay, I need to figure out how to... This is... Does anybody know how to rescue the sea moth? Oh, hang on. The pulley thing. Yes. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Okay, stop. Yes. Okay, so the pushy blasty cannon didn't work. The pulley cannon did work. Okay, good. So we now know how to rescue the sea moth if it gets stuck. Unfortunately, that just took all day, I think, or possibly. No! No, there's the occasional eclipse. Oh, that's why the... John, the day-night cycle is not as short as you think it is. There's just daily eclipses. Got it! Okay, while we're waiting, down into this biome, keep a really close eye on the possibility of trouble. There's... Oh! Okay. I mean, that's not... It's not one of them big lads I've seen before. But it can teleport, which is concerning. More than a bit concerning in a way. Not sure whether it's, you know, angry at me, though. Just ramming some fish out the way. Ooh, nice cave. Not too deep, all things considered. Uh, seen some of you lads before. Just, you know, take you for a nice little uh, explore. See what we have got. Because, yeah, there might be some new exciting plants and whatnot around these parts of the world. So have I seen any of this? Cave bush! I mean, it's a bush in a cave story checks out. And we've also got shales. Oh! Lithium! I thought that came from big blocks that I saw previously, but... Oh, John! You already knew this. You knew there was sandstone and limestone, and they produce different things. And the limestone is garbage, and the sandstone tends to be really good. Okay, so maybe deeper down, we get shale and... Okay, now things are getting a bit, a bit dark. Hang on, I'm going to be needing... a. Gonna be needing a flashlight for for all of this, as it turns out. So just check all of this out. I need more Yeah. Uh shale. So dark. I need dark rock, potentially. Also, why are you not bringing the car? John, just bring the car. Okay, just grab that, bring it here, have your source of oxygen nice and nearby. Okay, back out of the cave system and that's sandstone. So that's just traditional old uh, lead. So, okay, that's all. There's something down there, but I think it's not that large. Yeah, okay. Possibly it's caves. I need caves uh, that are nice and uh, far down. What are you? You look like a sand shark, but bigger. And you're hunting something. I just don't know... Uh, precisely what yeah that's more sandstone then again john it's sitting on sand so this isn't too surprising all things considered uh, that looks positive though it's like the the black rock that i want right and that's that's gold and that was a biter all right well it can't get me while i'm in when i'm in here all right then we have got something can i check what it is from here is that is that lead like lots of lead that's, yeah, that's a giant pile of lead, uh, and I need presumably a laser cutter to cut it into uh, manageable fragments or something. So, okay. We're going deep here. Very deep. And also, there are monsters floating around, so maybe be a bit... bit ca yeah, that's, that's, that's too deep. Okay. Now, there's a... Oh, hang on. That's going to be an island in the future... When the floaters get bigger and thus more floaty. Okay, that's interesting. But for the time being, it's yeah, a bit too much on the just. Oh, 
you know, there's these guys. I mean, these guys could be babies of the big mother I saw. Oh, hello! Oh, I don't like you. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not I'm not desperately keen on you at all. But like I Oh 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 blah, 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 blah. okay. Alright. Alright, Betsy, chill the Oh hang on. It knocked me out of my thing. How on earth did it Okay, no, 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 bye, 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 bye. Okay, so the purple laddies are cocking magicians and What the flip? That's that's not organic. Okay. Hang about here. This is the same architecture as is up on the islands. Alright, so... Maybe that means I'm a bit safer here. This looks, this looks positive. Okay. Hop out. No sign of uh, trouble round here, by the way. Is that what I... It's just a rock. Kind of thought it was like, you know, a good rock. But no, it's just just baby's first basic rock. Shatter these stuff. It's silver. Yes, yeah, silver are neat. Because you need that for electronics. And I've never got enough. And hello, Saxing. In that exact cave system I just went up to. That looks... Odd. Okay. We're not the first people to have crashed here. Let's start putting this together. Alright, that is even more lithium. Okay, so this area to the north, there's lithium everywhere. We're not the first people to have crashed here. By the way, you need a new battery. There you go, congrats. Uh, yeah. People have been crashing here, potentially for a long time. Could I be stumbling across people who crashed here, you know, a ridiculous long time ago? Because that there, that's... That's a possibility. Alright, people could have been crashing here for centuries, millennia, billions of years, diddly diddly day. Then again, hang on. That base is... Well, I don't know what that base is. That base could have been built by people who were here a long time. And for some reason, people just sort of, you know, keep flipping going underwater. And it keeps not ending well for them. Okay, so what we've learned is... Uh, yeah, shale means lithium. Might be more stuff too, but we know about the lithium. So, alright, just have a bit of a look, see. I've now got a purple tablet. Okay, ancient alien tablet, purple symbol. Find purple door, put in purple key. Hooray for me. I don't see any logical door, entry point, anything. Hang on, that looks... It could be like an automatic door. If I've got the green key, this door opens or something. But no sign of anything yet. Alright, just check them all. See if they have varied colours. Because if one's purple, then that's the one we are... Well, I say looking for. I don't know why we're looking for it. But like, you know, it's the one that exists. It would be there. That would be... Something else is around. Oh, they keep going. Okay, they keep going deeper. Oh, 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 bloody hell. There's a... Flip is... Okay, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you because they can actually hoover me out of my pod. Possibly they can teleport me. Did you just do it again? Okay, I don't... I'm scanning you. I'm scanning you to find out you're... You're a warper. Uh, scan you. And, uh, are you actually going to eat me, by the way? I don't know. I'm just going to... There we go. We're going to get some information about you. And there appears to be also... You've just kind of brought my attention to the fact there appears to be... A big... Ooh. Can I just enter this? Okay, there's... A fountain entry bay. Okay. I feel like I don't want to start exploring this just yet. Hang on. Tell me about them warpers. Teleport itself and others in space. No genetic crossover identified. Okay, so it's not a baby of the big lad that we've seen. So, okay, head lets you warp, and torso hunts other life forms, no digestive organs. So, it doesn't want to eat me. Also, I should really drink some water or something. Okay, so remember this is right here. Okay, if I follow the things down, we get to- No! Leave me alone, you stupid bastard. I just- just-
That didn't sound like a creature. That sounded mechanical. Okay. Well, this is all excellent. And no, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to just, you know, turn on my lights. Uh, okay, so there's another one down over there. We're getting deeper and deeper. And I'm not really sure what they... What they do. There's just a chain of these things going down, but... A long way down, actually. Further down than I'm going to be able to go for now. So, okay. Let's just head up. Ignore that bastard uh, for the time being. Possibly. Oh. Okay, he teleports himself. John, we knew that. He can teleport himself and other people. So, okay. Is this the same structure as we're seeing from... Yes, yes it is. Okay, it's a single structure just off the island. It's not actually on the island. It's off it. Oh, and hello. I was just pottering around in the nearby caves. Uh, there's... Okay, moon pool. That might be useful for parking the thing. So, okay, scan you. And that is, okay, I need one more. Alright, well, there's been humans around here too at some point. Just check the surrounding area. Sometimes, yeah, parts come in groups like a cluster of debris. Though I don't see any more right now. Oh, hang about, we got something. Okay, on a shelf nearby, actually pretty close to the surface, there is something. Nuclear reactor. Okay, I've not even built my first base yet, so I feel like we're getting a bit ahead. There's the moon pool. Alright, I can make a moon pool, which I believe is like a pressurized pool I can park this thing in. I'm not a submarine expert, but I believe that might be the case, yes. Okay, so we're going to go back down and explore that thing later. Because, aha, it's also got a, well, okay, it's got a ground entrance. But I'm guessing the ground entrance is sealed. I need to go in by sea. So, all right, park you uh, right over here. Food and drink is okay for now. And, uh, okay, this looks positive. This looks Good, aside from the fact they're green. Hang on, can I set this thing as an item? No, I can't do that. It's either going to be a prompt or there's going to be nothing. So, okay. Eight minutes to go. They might have sent me an emergency radio signal already. I just sort of don't know because I didn't bother. And self-scan. Just check the uh, local plants. Might be some good eating around over here. And yeah, this is going to be... Oh, well... This is all bloody convenient. I've already got the tablet. I feel like I might be skipping ahead a bit here, but all right. Force field control. Scanner. That gets me... All right. Force field control terminal. So we got here. No known technology. Alien in nature. In this universe, is that remarkable? Like, do we know there's aliens or not? Because, well... Okay. We know there's this planet that's covered in not Earth stuff. So... I mean, all the fish are aliens, technically. It's just whether it's... Oh. This structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. All right. Well, I've already got my way in. But, all right. Hang about. There might be some more stuff here. Before we go exploring, all right. We now know there's two entrances. I don't want to go in in case I miss, you know, the rescue. Landing site's over there. Just want to, you know, give the uh, the island a quick once roundy before... Is that one of them bloody crabs? Is that a bloody... No, but it was something. Because, yeah, we've got more of these things. Like, I don't know, guide light posts or something. Oh! Okay. Another purple tablet. Okay, those like generic keys. So... That was the one I was supposed to find, but I didn't. I found the one under the ocean. So, okay. And then there's more up there, suggesting it's going to keep going further and further up. So, alright. Follow the path. This one isn't... No, never mind. It activates when you get close. It's clever alien tech. And seriously, I don't care what you want to say about mist. While I was actually at the Cocking Aurora... There is no way there is fog heavy enough in the cooking world that I wouldn't have been able to see this. And no, naff the flip off, you stupid carrion feeder. I am not 
dead. Okay, so down one branch, there's a jump down to... Uh, that might be an underwater cave system hidden under the island where there's this, you know, installation. So uh, keep that in mind. But for the time being, uh, keep going up instead. Or that might just be a cave uh, under the island. Because I have, you know, climbed a bit already, so I'm not sure. Keep going up to the top. All right, let's see if we can figure out what the flip's going on here before the ship comes up. And seriously, okay, I'm going to scan this guy. I'm going to scan him because he's sick. Is he a separate? No. That was only the first one. I've already got the journal entry on. Hey, things get sick and green and whatever. So that means we are all A-OK -okay at this point. And no. No, you flippy don't, buddy. Yep, yeah, we're going in the right direction. So keep on keeping on. More and more of these markers. and More and more technology. This has got to be right. And oh, blimey. Okay. Lithium galore. There is no shortage of lithium. So, okay, this is where we get lithium from. Lithium lives in maybe this biome? I'm not sure. But, okay, I found something. Insert ion cube. I don't have one of them. I've got a second purple tablet. So, okay, hang on. Just scan. There's something that needs scanning. Hang about. Oh, alien arch. It's the arch that needs scanning. Is this a teleporter or something? Alien arch. Hang about. So, uh, ceremonial, industrial, transportation. Okay, you have no clue, do you? Stop pretending you know. You've got no idea. So, I now know what's up top in this island. There is a weird arch, probably teleporter because sci-fi. But yeah, until I've got an ion cube, uh, nothing I can do with the bastards. Oh, and there's another... Oh! Diamonds. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Okay. So shale, shale's the good stuff. Shale actually brings me flipping diamond. And okay, I feel like I want to maybe hurry up a little bit with the uh. The old getting back down towards the landing site. Because they're here in 20 seconds. So, oh, I think they might be arriving, actually. All right, they're, they're, they're around. They're, they're going to be... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's doing... It's a cocking space gun, isn't it? Oh, no. Um. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Uh-oh. I wouldn't. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Okay. Um so, uh just just a quick note for uh Claire when she's editing this. Uh, yeah, we don't need the grand finale thumbnail anymore. Uh, maybe we'll just stick to, um, to part four. Though I will say, all right, this makes me very proud of the Aurora, because the Aurora took that like a cocking champ, all right? The Aurora is, uh, holding together nicely, despite having been shot by a cocking massive space gun. So, better be going into neutral position now and not shooting me. Okay, there's, oh, hang on. There's... No, that's just a bird. It's not going to rescue me. It's not a secondary ship. So, okay. Let's consider what just happened. There's a giant alien space gun. It's singing me the song of its people. And it's possible, just out, just possible, that that ship might have just scattered some debris over there. Directly to the north of this island. That could be the case. Also, I didn't really bring enough um, food or water for an island with no fruit on it. So, that's actually rotten. So, we just need to get rid of that. 
Uh, I can drink some water. I've got a bit more water too, but not much. Food's going to start becoming a, a problem. Okay, we need to start exploring. And then when I get back home, I need to, yeah, cook a bit more. And that's broken. Okay, so I already got the tablet from the islands. I've got no, well, okay, I've got a knife. I have uh, one weapon, it's a knife. So in we go, but we know there's a secondary way in down below. And this is... Okay, that's my footsteps. It's just, you know, uh, this is a very little, uh, you know, clinky metal or whatever. So, all right. Have a bit of a loopsy round. They've got oxygen. Is that an ion cube by any chance? Because uh, I could do with an ion cube. Anytime you're ready to give me an ion cube, that'd be great. All right. Don't know what this is. Download some data. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Okay, no translation, but useful information. So solid state computer, no way to interface with it. So radio waves, data patterns. All right, what's going on? Aha! So they're not like us. The aliens use their technology to hear information being broadcast, but I can't hear it because I just don't have, like, you know, the right ears or brain or whatever. So, okay. I can't interface with this technology. Not, like, at all, though. Oh. That looks like a cube. Hello there, Mr. Ion Cube. Ion Cube. Okay, give it a scan first, because, you know, Ion Cube. See if we can figure out what the flip's going on. Alright, so... No enter on the periodic table. Grown. Okay. Interesting. Also, giant piles of energy. Could be a battery. Okay. Grab that. Seems important for... Oh, hang on. Did it just... Did it just become two cubes, or was it always like that? I'm not sure. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Okay, so they could be like, I don't know, circuitry in the walls. There could be a whole bunch of stuff, like an alarm could be going off right now, but I can't hear it. So, okay. Ion cube number two. I know where one of them goes. But again, there might be redundant extras, like, say, uh, the purple tablets. No, over there. More data. All right, so we're just learning stuff here. And uh, enforcement platform. Yes, that's what I said. Giant space gun. Ah, but it can't power itself. So uh, there's another power plant somewhere. Could be those cubes down below. I'm not sure. And ah, here we go. So, control room, access via sealed security, separate underwater moon pool. Now that, that we know about. Though security was also just mentioned, so that there, that could maybe be a bit of an issue. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay, so I'm just going to drop a save before I toss myself off the cliff. And down we go. Oh, 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 okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Alien elevator. Which I'm guessing takes me down and then potentially up again. So, all right. Force field control, we know about that. Is this now the, the moon pool? Okay, so I already found this. That's fine. So, didn't really need this, to be honest. Kind of had this all under control, as it turns out. By the way, how big are these uh, cubes? Not that big. We're fine. So yeah, I've got two alien power supplies. That's all lovely. Just keep on keeping on. Plug them into... Uh, then again, maybe don't. It's a giant cocky space gun. I don't want it on. I'd rather it was off under the circumstances. Still, yet more cocking ion cubes. Just more and more of the bastards. So if these are batteries, I'm unpowering this facility. Which... Okay, kind of wish I'd done that before it blew up the, um, giant, you know, rescue ship that was coming to help me, but whatever. And also, maybe another purple tablet. So, okay, I'm just gathering an alien tech, but I might not need it here. I might need it somewhere else. So, all right, just, just keep on keeping on. And we've got more too. There's, oh, uh-oh. 
Okay. Whatever that is, it's responding to me, but I can't get to it. That might be... Oh, is that security? And am I about to maybe wake it up a bit? Don't know. All right. Force field. Yeah. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. All right. So, shove a tablet in. I've got two of them. So, when you go. Yeah. That's coming down. Control room. So, we're just going to... We're going to sort all this out. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. Uh, so, we just need to... Ooh, that looks important. Let's poke that with a stick. Yep. Big glowy beam. This seems... Oh. Hello. Right. Hi. Give it a touch. Ooh. Knows I'm here. That's probably bad. Ooh. All right. Don't be a dick. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Oh. Okay. If I try and leave, it shoots me down. Anyone arrives, it shoots me down. Because it's trying to keep the bacteria on the planet. Though, oh, data download. Alien facility locations. Now that's cocking useful. And it doesn't need to be overhead. It can bend energy around the planet's gravitational pull. Okay. So it was just coincidence they tried to land on top of the gun. It could have shot them down anywhere. Gotcha. So, we have now got information. Disease research facility, 800 meters down. Ooh, okay. And then 1,200 meters down. So, we're not going there just yet. And we've also got ourselves a sanctuary, sanctuary, laboratory, a primary containment. Okay. So, we're not going there anytime soon. But we've got a name for the disease. It is the Kara. Okay, or the Kara, I suppose. So, okay. We've got a location as well. Well, kind of. We don't really know what's going on with thermal power. Though we have seen lava, just not that deep down. Meanwhile, we need... Uh, yeah, we have at least got a vague location. Southwest of Enforcement Platform. So, okay. We know where the disease research facility is. Uh, but I can't get anywhere near that depth. Alright, I can get down to 200. Uh, I can't proceed with the main plot till I've got, I assume, the Cyclops, the big submarine. That's what I need now. Until I've got that, we're not going anywhere. Then again, I say that. I say that, but I do have, you know, the battery to power a mysterious alien teleporting arch. Like, right now. I've got that. Right this... Keiju, this place makes noises and I don't like it. Okay, one of the side room I didn't come into previously and... Aha! Okay, another arch. Is this what takes me to the top? Because it appears to be a match for what I've already seen. Okay. So they wanted the ability to teleport to the top of the island and back again. Why? What's so important about the top of the island? Unless, of course, yeah, there's something there that... Oh, hang on. Did I miss this as well? Alien rifle. Now that, that I wouldn't mind. So, oh, can I make my own at this point? No obvious way to remove it. Dear oh flipping dear. So, uh, they had guns that I don't get them. Well, that's just a shame. Okay, though this has also given me, you know, an important lesson right here, which is uh, what I really need to do is... I already downloaded that data, that's fine. What I really need is a base that is not just my starting pot. Because uh, right now I need to actually go all the way back to my pod, uh, you know, kilometre and a half in that direction, uh, just to cook some food uh, because I didn't bring enough with me. So uh, that there, that was a mistake. Or rather, it wasn't a mistake. The mistake was... Uh, I don't have a base closer by that I can use to, you know, actually just cook some food if I need it. But on the other other hand, this is fine because I'm now swimming in lithium. 
And I've got a diamond too. Also, while I'm literally here, okay, I'm gonna go and shove the power cell into the thing. I've probably got time to do that and then get back to base before I starve to death. Hopefully. Oh, hang on. No, 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 that's a bulbo tree. Bulbo trees produce free food. Bulbo trees mean food. Oh, we're fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just keep keep eating that. No trouble. In fact, yeah, this is just infinite food. I've just cleared out some space. Now I can pick up uh, two of these at a time. Okay, we are fine. I was assuming there'd be, you know, something I could... Never mind, the Bulbo was not infinite. Though there might be more of them. And the radio wants to chat. So, okay, that's kind of surprising. Unless... Oh, I mean, I survived in a life pod. One of them could be alive too. The rescuer could have just become the rescuee. Oh, and heavens to Betsy. Look what I've just found. Oh, I'm so glad I came to explore. There's a flipping, yeah, giant piles of... Scan that by the... Scan, that's a flashlight, John. I know it looks like a hairdryer, but it is. Okay, does that actually tell me what this can contain? Gold, lithium, and diamonds. Okay, gold's actually not so good uh, for the simple reason I've already, like, you know, uh, got some of that diamond. I now love this island. I don't care that it murdered my rescuers uh, because it's just... It's just got a beautiful line of... Do I even need the gold? I'll probably need the gold for advanced something sooner or later. Just take it all. You're gonna need it. Another diamond, please. Thank you. So, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Have yourself one ion cube. All right. It goes in, and now it goes woobly whoop. Now it goes, ooh. This facility goes further up, but the path doesn't. This might be a security mechanism, like, you know, a final security check before you get to the summit of the island where something awesome's waiting for you. And there's also even more shell and lithium in, yeah, the side rooms off here. So, okay, if I need more diamonds, uh, come back to this island, because uh, there's plenty of it here, nice and easy, open on the surface, no trouble whatsoever, and possibly even, uh, yeah, the outcrops might regenerate over time. Well, let's give it a loop see. This is either taking me back down to the bottom, or up to the top, and I'm kind of hoping for up top, because I've already seen the bottom, but, yeah, woobly whoop, hi there, and I'm going somewhere. All right, yeah, wibbly whoop, and okay, where am I? Oh, this looks, hang about, this is, this isn't the same place I just, oh blimey, hang on, um, I'm 2,376 meters away from the sea moth, which is, not where I thought I was going to be. And unfortunately, hang about the island. Oh, I'm nearby to the island. Okay, that must mean I am... Yeah, okay. I'm now significantly to the... Wait. South. And yeah, the problem is I don't know what altitude I'm at. Because, uh, yeah, it's just zero if you are above sea level. The altitude meter is just for how deep are you... It doesn't bother measuring up. So, alright. I'm somewhere else. And in fact, I might be on, yeah, like, the island where the beacon is. I don't know how big it was. It could easily have been 200 meters long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100% I am. In fact, I'm just upstairs from uh, the beach. And I probably could have actually, uh, yeah, uh, found this previously had I explored better... I just missed the entrance to this cave system, which was uh, right there. So, okay. I've now got a shortcut. Alien facilities. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're around the back of the Aurora. We are actually on the island. So, right. I can now skip back and forward uh, between uh, those two locations. Though that would involve leaving uh, my sea moth behind. Which is unacceptable, because it's my new best friend. So, okay, grab the moth and then head for home. Because, yeah, honestly, home is about the same distance away in either case. Yeah, it's either going to be a kilometre and a half or a kilometre. So I may as well just go back 
and then grab them off and then just uh, sail back home, keep an eye out for any new boxes or parts or whatever. And now we're back where we should be, 200 meters uh, to the moth. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thing I should be keeping an eye on here, there might be islands dotted around, like potentially several of them. And uh, when I find those islands, it is possible, I can't cooking say, it is possible that, yeah, those islands uh, will contain uh, little things I can activate. So I should probably keep, like, one purple tablet and one green power thing on me at all times. Well, best as I can tell, that's everything here. I might have missed the odd bit, but, uh, yeah, my inventory's... Uh, Completely full up of uh, rather useful things at the moment. So, okay. Let's take a trip back home. No need to actually... There is a biter just chilling out right there. Trying to bite my cocking ship over and over again, isn't there? No, no, no. What a dick. Has he damaged it? He better not have damaged it. I'm going to be really annoyed if he has. And... Okay, hang about. Maybe the tiniest amount. I'm not sure. Okay, let's, uh, let's go home. Because uh, there are monstrous, terrifying, uh, teleporty creatures going on uh, over in this part of the world. And I uh, don't appreciate... Oh, hang on. Okay, I might try and scan you while I'm just passing by. Hi there. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yes, you just keep eating those fish. All right. Those, uh, those fish who aren't me. You just eat them. And we'll... Okay, that's a bone shark. 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 We're just going to scan him. And now we're going to go. Because, okay, he went for a lunge at me. But then he kind of naffed off. Kind of like he wasn't interested in eating me. Really. Like, I annoyed him by getting close. But then he wasn't too into, you know, the taste of me. So, all right. Just one quick health kick. Because, yeah, I can just make them out of seaweed now. So, that's fine. Okay. Just check what we know about any of the new stuff, by the way. Here we go. That thing wasn't trying to attack me. It was just defending its hunting ground. It's just territorial. Maybe distracted by light sources. Okay. So if I just leave my ship on with the lights, then we could be golden. All right. In we go. Time for me to head home. And also, yeah, batteries are getting a bit low across the board. Just ram the ship slightly there. I'm sure it's all fine. Just bring her around. And honestly... At this point, I can't really pick up anything, so... Oh. I was about to say, the only thing I need is, you know, things I might be able to scan. Well, speak of the cocking devil. Nuclear reactor. Alright, that's... Something's going raw nearby, which I don't appreciate. So how about we just uh, get in and get... Oh, it's you, bastards! No, 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 no trouble. No trouble, just run. Those guys are dicks. They don't even seem to like want to eat me. They just want to be decks. Also, really should have brought a beacon. Because this island is... Uh, that is useful. That is a huge, huge amount of, uh, you know, lithium, all the rest of it. And I'm going to forget it's there. Alright. Or rather, I'm going to want it. And then I'm going to spend a while bumbling around. Then again, John, it's a giant island. If you just get within, like, you know, 400 meters of it, which you should be able to reliably do... You can just, you know, find it by looking around on the surface. So I'm sure it'll be fine. And is that a... That's just titanium. That's nothing. Keep your eye out for anything a bit more interesting or boxes. And... Oh, radiation. Okay, hang on. Which way am I going? Oh, I'm going completely the wrong way. Okay, never mind. So I don't have the right thing on right now. I don't have my helmet on. Just maybe get, get out of dodge until we're not nearby to any of that nonsense and... Hang on, what was this? Okay, as I'm still hearing this, how about we just put on the... I don't have the rat helmet! I do not have the rat helmet right now. Okay, I've I've just completely gone into the wrong bit of the of the sea. Okay, just 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 run. Just run. I must be getting out of rad territory soon. Right? So I'm wearing okay, I'm wearing a rad suit. It's just my brain that's not protected. Against rads, which I'm sure is not a problem. There we go. I'm not dead. And here we go. Home sweet home. All right. Park her right here. This area is nice and safe. And uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now stuff gets sexy. I'll get to you in a second, possible survivor. Because uh, 
Okay, I should now have access to all the sexy stuff in the world. Laser bloody cutter. All I need is cave sulfur and titanium. I know I've got that. I know I've got that across my five bloody containers. I mean, there's the cave sulfur. I just need to find the titanium. Because I am sure that the stalkers will not object if I just go and, you know, steal some of theirs. Because they're just sitting on, you know, giant piles of it. So there we go. There's titanium. And here we go. One cocking laser cutter. Yes, I can finally make it past the two and a half doors I've seen in my way. But yeah, the ultra tank and the ultra fins, I need a modification station. And without a base, I can't even deploy that. And I'm not sure I know how to make one anyway. Though, probably a good idea. Yes, let's get a beacon out. Just so I've got one with me at all times. Because you never know when you're going to find something like, you know, useful that you'd like to mark. Okay, inventory sorted. I've dumped the repulsion ray for now. Just because, well, it's in a box. It's not dumped. Just because, yeah, it feels like the... Pull and push thing is just the repulsion, but better. Because it worked on the sea moth and the other one didn't. So, okay, we'll just be taking that with us. Got my new tools, obviously. That's very, very welcome indeed. And on top of that, yeah, take one purple tablet, one power cell with me at all times. Just in case I come across anything alien. Giant pile of new cured food, together with a whole bunch of water. Topped up health. Okay. We should be in good shape to, yes, go on a bit of a trip, though. Any chance any of you survived? I priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, an important person, life pod 13, carrying a high priority passenger remains. Okay, well, don't know what makes him a high priority, but sure, we'll make him orange, therefore. And he is located... Honestly, I was planning to kind of go in that direction anyway, because, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff I want to go and do in that direction. There was some, yeah, some doors... I could open. So, uh, hang about. Hang about, hang about, hang about. Sure, we can try out my new uh, laser cutter while we're going to check out that poor bastard. Here we go. Straight through here. So, life pod 17, which tells me where the, yes, extremely bloody convenient cave system is. I say convenient. It was terrifying, and I'm glad I never need to go there again. But, I remember this, okay? I have got memory of a thing I'm supposed to do. Step one, we go to this life pod. Then what we do is we turn it towards an arch. We then go through the arch and we go in a straight line until such time as I run into... Hang on, is that important? Is that... That looks like the laser cutter to me. Is that the laser cutter? Because if so, I don't, I don't need it anymore. Uh, laser cutter, but I do need titanium. So sure, I'll take some free titanium. Uh, so okay, just... Which way was I just... Okay, hang on. I need to be going... John, don't get distracted. This is important. So, uh, put that behind me. Go in this direction. That's just a whale. I was about to say a space whale. But no, it doesn't live in space. It just lives, you know, in the ocean. Where you broadly expect them to be. And here we go. This here is going to be... That's a cocking shark. I'm not amused by your presence. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. Right, okay. Just loop round over down here. There was a way of kind of like getting in wasn't there like from above or something i'm not sure here we go there's a panel right there and now okay this apparently oh this eats power john you said you were going to top up the batteries then you didn't so okay this needs uh, how much power in order to function because okay about 20 percent power per door and that was john that was literally just the door that went out. Is this that? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this the same thing? Or is this actually... Okay, no. That actually is a room. That one was a complete waste of time. This one actually does need to be done. Okay, so here we go. And locked, secured room. Oh, here we go. Data box and lightweight high capacity. Boom. Now this. This was worth remembering. 
And I already know about that. But again, I'll take the titanium. So propulsion cannon. Don't mind me. And same thing again. Okay, so a free propulsion cannon if you haven't already got that. I already have. Right, back outside to the good old moth that's just floating around nearby here. I think that shark is not appreciating my presence, but basically, screw you, I don't care. So, okay, next round the corner. Go back to... Go back to that, take a left. There was another rack that had, I believe, a door on it, didn't it? Here we go, yes, this big old curled bit. I just can't remember whether there was a... A locked door in here or not? My brain says there was. Here we go. That looks about right. Up at the top here. So, uh, alright. Get this out. And give it a... No. Okay. Could have sworn that looked like one of them, but whatever. Yeah, there's a few doors in here. But none of them are actually, yeah, uh, cut throughable. Alright, in which case we are heading to, yes, uh, life pod 13. Because it looks to me like, yes, the the way there is pretty safe. The water's pretty shallow, which is always a good sign. Because you literally can't fit a cocking leviathan in if it's, you know, nice and shallow. Already closing in on 400 meters. Doesn't look like he's too deep. That is... Uh, never mind, it's about to get deeper. Okay, just keep your eyes open. Hopefully we can still see the... Uh, yeah, we're not even a hundred down. This is... Oh, blimey. Alright, this is no. This is... John, you forgot to... Okay, you don't need a beacon. Because you can use this guy's pod to navigate here. Are you guys trouble? Just for once, could something not be trouble? Yeah? Friends? Would you like to be friends? I'm happy to be friends with ya. I'm going to get out and scan him, and I'm going to regret it immediately afterwards. And there's also tree mushrooms. Okay, giant tree mushroom. Give that a scan. And there's little little purple lads. They're not anything. And then there's you. Please be... Oh, he's a jelly ray. It's a jellyfish stingray. Oh, that doesn't sound fun at all. Would you mind coming back and stop clipping through bloody rocks? Yeah, luminescent. Light sensitivity. You can't eat it. Well, it doesn't say murder. I'm going to take this as a massive win. And in this part of the world, we're back to limestone. So, okay, that's just copper or titanium, which is... Uh, I mean, honestly, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and I'll gladly help myself to a bit more salt. Salt is uh, very useful. And I see a box up there as well. Uh, never say no to a box and uh, just mobile vehicle bay. Alright, well that's titanium at the bare minimum. If we get full up, I can just dump it, but yeah. I did kind of uh, empty out my inventory a bit before we came, so I say that, I'm down to only one spot remaining already. Marvellous. Okay. Alright, just 150. Okay, he's not below 200. There's a canyon here that does run below 200, but I'm not seeing a cave system attached to it or anything. I'm not seeing... Much in the way of trouble. The jelly rays seem chill. Alright, giant mushroom forest around the sky. Are we cool? I mean, I'm not seeing trouble. Good, 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 good. Just for once, nice easy trip with nothing trying to eat me. Though, hang about. What is that? Oh, it's just lithium. It just looked a bit more red than usual under this lighting. So, uh, alright. Pod 13. I'm going to guess it was, yep, someone's already eaten it, of course. So in we go. Lights on. And what have we got? Well, all a bit broken. Nothing but one PDA. All right. What have we got here, then? All right. So nothing dramatic. No sign of him. He was just saying, like, a prayer. And then something went very wrong. All right. And then he just accepted his death and moved on. So, in which case... Alright, well, what was the... What was the benefit of rescuing you? Did you, like, drop something? That's my ship. Seen a sign of debris. Maybe this was just a... Oh, hang on. There's something over here. Hang on, John. Top up your oxygen first, alright? Before we go searching around for debris, top up the oxygen... And also, use the fact that you've literally got the ability to scan 
in an oxygen-rich environment. Because that there, that's cooking useful. So I see something down over there. Alright, I see something... What's that? That's not natural. Alright. Hang about. Just grab that. And... Creature egg. Oh, it's an egg! Sorry, I thought that was something more important than that. And now I can't cocking see. Right, back in the thing. Just use the lights. Yeah, just scan the surrounding area. Just check for debris. That's just some... That's just salt. That's nothing. That's nothing over there. Yeah, looks like it's just one piece of something in this direction. And then we are done. Alright, nice and simple on this occasion, just for once. No unpleasant surprises. Alright, down you go, buddy. It is... Oh, it's Cyclops. Alright. Only one of three, though. Okay, I'm going to be honest. If there's Cyclops around here... I want to just very quickly give a bit more of a thorough looksy roundy. Just for anything that looks white and, like, you know, not organic. Like, say, for example... There's something over there. That don't look right, does it? No. No, it does not. Give that a scan. And... It's a... It is, but I was trying to scan it with a flashlight, which I do a lot. Two out of three. Oh, my. John. We're staying until we find something. There's something, and it looks very similar to what we saw last time, but it's not the same one, because it's in a different location. That's it. We got a... And boom. And that is... Near blueprint acquired. Oh my! I know how to make a cocking Cyclops! Okay, I'm going to keep his signal on permanently. His signal will now lead me back to the mushroom forest, if I ever need that for any reason. Because there's definitely a sign of, oh yeah, there's another one. This is where you get the Cyclops hole, that's another one right there. Okay. I assume what just happened there was, because I have located the three distinct parts, like the hull, the cockpit, and the... There was another one, but I forgot what it was. That means, yes, the entire blueprint just comes together. Though I probably shouldn't get too excited because, yeah, bear in mind there's a whole bunch of advanced materials I haven't found yet. Like, okay, we've got diamonds at this point, but there was mention of, you know, heat sealant and rubies and all the rest of it. And I don't know how any of that works. Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? What are you? Oh. Okay. When, when Bart said in his, you know, uh, final message, uh, they don't want us here. I'm guessing that's they. Oh, now we know. Now we cocking know. So, all right. Advanced wiring kit. No idea what that is. Not even discovered that yet. Lead and lubricant. That's fine. Enamel glass. I'm pretty sure I do know how to make that. Plasteel, however, I have no clue. Oh, hang on. No. No, I do. Titanium ingot plus lithium. Okay, that I could... Uh, that I can do. Okay, so that there, that's fine. Enamel glass is, yes, yeah, stalker tooth plus glass. That's fine as well. But unfortunately, advanced wiring kits where it all falls apart. I literally don't know how to make that. So, uh, okay. We can't just skip bases entirely and go to the Cyclops. That's, um, uh, that's not gonna fly. And seriously, John, don't forget to make a beacon. Just having a beacon with you at all times so you can mark important things. Uh, not a bad call. Oh, and the radio wants me again. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Okay. Um. Agents. Target. Subjects. Was that the same guy who just spoke to me? Because someone down there is taking an interest. They're alive and they're not happy with me, I think. Still, I think I know one thing we do need to do at this point. 
The game said, if you have a fire extinguisher and a laser cutter, then you can explore the Aurora. And now, I've got both. So with them in hand, I'd say next time, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading back over there to the territory of the giant murder snake. But this time, we can put out the fires, open up the doors, all the rest of it. Though, I might need to, yes, remember to craft some batteries first. Everything's getting a bit uh, worn down, actually. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That should all be pretty easy to put together next time, back to the Aurora, and then after that point... Okay. Presumably, I need to go... Yeah, I've got a lead for a facility to sort out the bacteria thing, but it's so deep underwater, I can't get to it till I've got a submarine. Can't build a submarine till I've got an advanced wiring kit. Don't know where that is. I mean, presumably, it'll just be in various facilities, say, wreckage. So... Following my radio to pods, etc. That's got to be the right way to go, potentially. So, okay. Keep an eye on the radio. Explore the Aurora. I mean, the Aurora's big and technical. Might be there. That might be where I'm supposed to go next. So, we shall see if that hunch pays off next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh shit. What did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.